Hello, I'm Lance Novak, Executive Director at the Canadian Kennel Club. Earlier this month, I provided a video update on various activities at the CKC. Viewership of the video was good, and I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view it and offering your feedback and questions. Based on the feedback, it seems that more frequent and shorter updates would be helpful on more focused subjects. For this video, I'd like to focus on the issues of certificates. CKC registration certificates and title certificates are central to the work that CKC does and critical to the dedicated work of all of you. It's a validation of your dog's authenticity as a purebred, it's a link to your dog's pedigree, and it also can be a confirmation of your extra credentials earned through various CKC sanctioned trials and competitions. It's also the final evidence of transactions you have submitted and paid CKC to process. So it's particularly frustrating that a significant source of the backlog created by the transition to the new system has been the production and delivery of certificates. I'm very sorry that members and non-members alike have been affected so significantly. I understand how difficult this has been for breeders and their new puppy owners as well as event participants, and I'm committed to resolving it. To be more specific, certificates for dog registration applications processed between November 2019 and about the end of January 2020, for the most part, have not yet been delivered. This is due to a system configuration issue that inaccurately mapped data from the old system to the print parameters in the new system. This was a complex design issue and was not due to either inaccurate data in the old system, nor was it a printer or other hardware malfunction. If there is positive news, we've been producing dog registration certificates since February in a timely fashion. And since the office shut down, it's been in a PDF format and delivered by email. Also, the necessary corrections have been made in the system allowing us to now reprint certificates for the period between November 2019 and January 2020. In fact, the first wave of certificates were recently released and we will continue mostly in date order while we work with the current office restrictions imposed by Ontario State of Emergency. Moving to title certificates, again, I can lead with some positive news. All confirmation results for events that took place in 2000. 19 and 2020 have been entered into the new system. We are currently testing functionality that uses that data to calculate points and generate corresponding titles. Testing has been successful so far and we're on schedule to release that functionality on or about June 5th. And this means two things. First, points and titles generated for confirmation results will generate certificates for printing and mailing. Secondly, the information will be displayed in your dog's profile on your member portal. Please note, however, that this process must follow in sequence of when the events occurred. So not all points and titles will be available immediately when this new feature is released. All other event types will be entered once confirmation events have been completed. In summary, Certificates for dogs registered between November 2019 and January 20 has commenced and will continue over the next several weeks. Production and distribution of title certificates will commence shortly in sequential order and continue until fully complete. In conclusion, I'd like to remind you that the new system has been specifically designed to provide the most comprehensive and fastest information through online channels. If you haven't set up your online portal or provided your email address yet, I encourage you to do so to get the latest updates. We will be providing updates on our progress with certificates for dog registrations as well as titles through the bulletin, our newsletter, our website, and through email. I hope this update's been helpful, and once again, I thank you for taking the time to watch it. Stay safe.